<laughs> Jesse, how are you going? Hi, Sid. Good nice to see, to you. see yeah. you. What have you been up to? Well, I've been doing some off-road caravanning, actually, but I need some advice from you, so I believe you've got some stuff for me. Got a neat little camper over here, the Cool Beans Camper, and today we're going to be looking at what how was it? We've actually got something planned for Jessie today. A little bit of fun. She's got no idea what's coming up. It involves batteries and water, which normally you wouldn't think mix, but we're going to disprove that theory. All right, Sid, what have you got for me today? We've got this orange beast here, Jess. It's Ooh. the iTech World 120X. Certainly for your auxiliary battery and your average caravan, this is like probably the most common size that you'd see. Do you want to just grab it, put it over here on the table? That's what these things are all about. The old technology lead acid battery, you wouldn't be able to pick that up. The equivalent power output, you'd be looking at about 60 kilos. This is 12. I've never been able to pick up a battery before. When he's like, pick up the battery, I was like, yeah, all right, no, you do it. And he's like, no, really, do it. And I was like, really, are you kidding me? It weighed nothing. Mm. Anyway, so... Oh. <laughs> it's not going to explode Look, or anything, get... is it? Just had it? Sid, what are you doing? <laughs> It's no good anymore, so we might as well just get rid of it. <laughs> we absolutely got her. She was just gobsmacked. When Sid picked up that battery and put it in a tub of water, I was like... Ah! Tell me why this battery can be in water. Well, some of these smaller vehicles and caravans and camper trailers and that, quite often they want to mount them on the outside. Dust and water corrugated roads and all this. These things have been designed and developed in Australia over 10 years. They're IP67 dust and waterproof rated. A bit of water, a bit of rain, not a problem. I cannot believe they make a battery product like that that can swim, basically. So what are these batteries used for? <coughs> Primarily, they're an auxiliary battery, which means just a battery that you stick in your towed vehicle, in the caravan. It'll power your lights, it'll power your laptops and phones if you want to charge them up, it'll power your fridge in the back, and of course you can charge them from the vehicle while you're driving along, from your mains if you've got a power point there, or from your solar panels. Now I check well do these uh, 100 watt and 200 watt solar blankets, you just roll them out, it takes about two minutes and there you go. Now, we showed you the battery. Yes. There. Here is the same battery in situ. Now the, the thing about these is they're just a drop-in replacement, you can take out your old lead acid, drop this little one in there, you can use the same battery charges before, and once it's in there you don't have to worry for a long, long time. Not only is this lithium, it's lithium prismatic cells. You can get at least 4,000 charge cycles out of this battery. Wow. That's eight times what you get out of a lead acid, and they are much better technology. Uh, a lithium battery will retain its full charge and deliver full power right through the whole discharge cycle, you can nearly 100%. Whereas a lead acid battery, once it's got down to about 50% charge, the voltage starts to drop off, you also risk damaging the battery if you discharge it any further. If people want some more details about all this stuff, best they talk to the experts at iTechWorld. Check them out online, itechworld.com.au or drop into the shop.